Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you some information on how you can pre approve for a $40,000 loan through Goldman and Sachs. And um, the offer is a personal loan with Marcus. So if you are new to my channel, I bring you content for no matter where you are on your credit journey to help you improve your credit score and leverage lines of credit to make income. So if that interests you, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. Now I'm bringing you these pre-qualification offers for loans. I get these types of questions all the time. There are people out there who are using these types of loans to invest. I had someone um, who actually made a comment about the Discover loan up to the $35,000 prequal. Someone um, who actually chimed in and said they use that loan to do a fix and flip. So you have investors that's using these types of loans that are using it to actually operate some business and making some quick income. So you have different reasons why people are looking for personal loans. Now, with the prequal, why I always try to bring you this kind of content. Like I said, I had a client, 740 credit score, 11 hard inquiries, and you hear this story from me all the time. He could not get approved for anything because too many hard inquiries can get you denied. So using prequals will limit your hard inquiries just by aimlessly going around applying for credit that you do not fit in that company's profile of what they're looking for. Understand banks do need customers, they need you, and they have certain products. Some are subprime, some are prime, some are for really great credit scores. But remember, banks need to lend because they make their money off of interest. So you want to find, are you the profile that they're looking for for that product? And so how pre-qualifications work, you can pre-qualify and they'll either say, hey, you're look, you look like the profile we're looking for, so go ahead and apply, or you, you don't, they don't pre-qualify you. Now, if you get pre-qualified, it doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to get the loan or the credit card. It's just them saying you look like the type of person or profile that we're interested in looking into. But if you apply, whether you get denied or you actually get the loan, it will result in a hard pull. But instead of just applying and getting a hard pull without knowing anything, to whether you're going to be denied or that not, this is the best way so you can see and minimize you getting a ton of hard inquiries because every hard inquiry, you lose three to five points on your credit score. And you can be denied for just having six hard, over six hard inquiries in a, uh, in a two year time frame is a red flag that you're somebody that's shopping for a lot of credit. Now, if you got a lot of hard inquiries, we have a free hard inquiry removal package at my website. The link is in this video description and I leave my website in the pent comment section. So let's jump into what this loan is offering. So they're offering you a personal loan with no fees. So they're saying no fees, a fixed APR, and a one-time payment reward. Now, with this loan, you can go all the way up to $40,000, but the minimum is $3,500. So you can go for the $3,500 or all the way up to Forty thousand, and their APR uh, ranges from six point nine nine percent to nineteen point nine 
9% APR, which depending on your credit score is not uh, really terrible, but it is gonna be based off of your credit profile, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, one of the things you need to know that Goldman and Sachs primarily do pull from TransUnion. So you wanna make sure that you look at your TransUnion credit score. Now with them, they do take fair credit. So anything that's a 660 and up, you can get qualified for, but keep in mind, you guys, like I mentioned, hard inquiries is gonna be something they're looking at. Also, they're gonna be looking at anything that's recent, that's in default, uh, any recent collections, charge-offs, you know, you might just need to take that in consideration and a heavy, really uh, heavy, uh, what they're gonna look at is the major factor is debt to income ratio. How much debt do you have versus your income? So if you're a person that makes 40 grand a year, but you got 50 grand worth of debt, then you won't be qualified because you got more debt than you do have income. So you want to really keep that in mind. Now they do have a program where for debt consolidation, they offer you something that I've seen that's unique. If you're looking to consolidate and to pay off some debt, they can pay the check directly to your creditors for you because there are some people that need help managing their finances so they do have that option now one thing i will say that you have to keep in mind with um actually goldman and sachs and for this loan there is an origination fee so um an origination fee is for a fee for the start of the loan now their origination fee could be one percent to 10 percent of the loan so that can cost you an upfront or it can add a fee to the loan so if you are a person that's in the market for a loan this is a loan that you can look at that you can get up to forty thousand dollars and you can do so with fair credit but like i said keep in mind you guys of anything recent or negative on your credit report Okay, if you go in pre-qual and you still know that you're under that 660 credit score on your TransUnion, just be careful. Anything recent that's negative, please be careful, you guys, before you try to pull the trigger on this offer. Now, if you have any questions, just in general in nature, you can leave it in the comments section. But if you want to reach out to me directly, make sure you go to my website. I recently have a had a newborn, so I might not answer as frequently like I used to answer every hour on the hour, but I try to answer your questions in a 24-hour period. They come directly to my cell phone. So if you have questions, submit them at my website and you will hear a response from me. So if you have any more questions or comments, make sure you reach out to me and I hope to see you guys in the next video.